Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. We're talking about the range. We're talking mm-hmm. about the stry ball. We talked a little bit about loading mags. Okay. We are in an ammo shortage. We're in a time where you can't get anything in nine millimeters a dollar a round. Have you been to the range lately? Are you still getting reps in, Hank? Who, me? Uh, so, yeah. yes, I have been to the range lately. <laughs> uh, usually I'm shooting on, on the weekends, um, unless stuff comes up during the week and I'm shooting. Um, so he, this is a super fortunate thing for me, um, and I've tried to tell people before, I don't even know how it happened, but the guys, the, you know, the guys from Fort Scott Munitions, for some reason, like me. So they sponsor me for ammo. So the stuff that they do manufacture, they send out to me. Now, it hasn't, it, I've seen interruptions um, during this whole thing in terms of stuff that comes out. But when they have it in, they're sending stuff to us. But we're still trying to conserve, right? Because nobody knows <laughs> how long this is going to be. So in our videos that you guys see coming out lately, we'll be like, oh, we're not really trying to shoot that much ammo right now because... We don't know what's gonna happen with it. Matt gave us uh, five bucks. He says here to white here's to white sugar daddy. Oh boy, this is you gotta say that with some style. Uh, you can't you can't just mumble that, Hank. You gotta I have, don't, you gotta, I here's don't just want, a white sugar daddy. I don't want to say that. You Hank say it. like uh, here's five dollars. He from here's to white sugar you daddy or you something. Say it. I don't you know. say it. You say it. He's your white sugar daddy. You say it. My God. By God, it's Tim from the Military Arms. He took a break from breaking the cigs. He said, here's to my white sugar daddy. <laughs> okay, I, we probably didn't need to hear that. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Apple. Yeah, um, and Tavaria Malden says, uh, Mac just won the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So you're getting your range in, your range time in, you're conserving ammo. A little bit, yeah. Are you, are you able to find ammo down there? Um, so when I go out to the stores, there they, I have seen ammo in some of the stores. Some stores here are closed. They don't have anything. But there are stores that are open, and they have certain kinds of ammo. But then other stuff, they're having a hard time getting. Mostly it's 9 millimeter, uh, 223 type stuff. So that's what I've seen. I don't know what you've seen in your area. Yeah, it's tough. Like you'll hear that. I, I talked to Uncle Ricky tonight at dinner, and he's mm-hmm. like, he found there was a store down here that had unlimited nine and two two three at regular prices. Really? And his buddies, yeah, the other day, and they bought a boatload, mm-hmm. but now it's gone. Um, mm-hmm. I'm still doing a ton of testing for pewpewtactical.com, mm-hmm. and I went out the other day, and I mm-hmm. told the viewers. I mean, you have to be honest. I was mm-hmm. testing two Smith and Wessons, a nine and a 380. Mm-hmm. For the 380, I had a hundred rounds. I did a full wow. quote unquote 2020 test mm-hmm. with a hundred rounds, and that's just where we're at yeah. right now. But if you're honest with people, they understand. Yeah, 380. Uh, there's no, there's never a lot of 380 out there, you know. Um, and then it's I think, hard to get expensive. yeah, yeah. And there's certain ammos that you're not going to dump anyway. Right. So I'm not going to dump 308 <laughs> or six, five creep more. <laughs> I did a, a 308. I did a 308, a big, um, a test for pew pew the other day, mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago with a big giant Daniel defense, AR 10 and 308. <laughs> and I got full up with the biggest mag I could find. Yeah. And I was just ammo dumping from the shoulder yeah. with a thousand yard piece of glass on it just cause it's to be dumb. Yeah. That, well, I, I I'm laughing that. because if it's someone else's ammo, I'm dumping the living daylights out. Yeah, of I was I was dumping Daniel <laughs> Defense's ammo. Yeah, if yeah. it's someone else's ammo, mm, yes. So uh, Max says uh, that's the new normal, Johnny. We're cutting way back on ammo consumption. I expect we're going to have a shortage for the next six plus months. Do I think that's a that? good guess. Yeah, I think it's a good guess. Like everybody, not just with the <coughs> situation. But everybody with, with all of the stuff that's going on in the streets and mm-hmm. all of the things that are going on with ammo and all things mm-hmm. going on with actual hardware and guns, everybody mm-hmm. thinks the day the election happens, bang, mm-hmm. Hillary's going to prison and all of a sudden there's going to be 9 millimeter for $9 a box. Mm-hmm. No, I think Tim's guess, six months, it's going to be next year, Hank. Yeah. I think it's going to be next spring. For sure. Uh, um, let me get this in from CloverTac and then I do want to bring up some news that I saw on this. CloverTac says, I've seen Colin Noir did a first mag video the other day pretty good idea it's a great idea 30 rounds or 15 rounds whatever you got on the, the particular mm-hmm. gun that's a great idea i do a boatload of testing for pew pew and mm-hmm. 
I'm having to change that as well. Normally I do as many, as much ammo as I can, five, 600 rounds in a day. Mm -hmm. And it's fine. Like it is totally fine to to be honest and say, I'm going to, I've got one box of ammo. Let's see how it does. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it feels. Yeah. So let me get to this real quick so I can get your opinion on this. Please smash the thumbs ups guys out there. If, uh, if we got half the people in here to smash the thumbs ups now, we could probably get to a hundred. And, uh, some of you guys owe me that after your, uh, actions yesterday or last they do night which we, we'll, we'll get in, we'll get into it we'll get into it remind me but let me if get they hit a hundred thumbs up will you say sugar daddy like you mean it white sugar daddy like you mean it actually yes i would <laughs> hit those thumbs up people hit the thumbs up we're going to a hundred and hank's going to have some enthusiasm <laughs> oh boy yeah okay so here's the thing truth about guns has this article i'm going to get the headline and maybe a little bit of it remington agrees to sell ammunition business including barnes bullets for 65 million dollars uh, it talks about Remington filing for Chapter 1, uh, 11, C, uh, 11 bankruptcy protection for the second time in July. Uh, the Wall Street Journal reports that firearms maker Remington Outdoor Company has agreed to sell its ammunition business out of bankruptcy to South Carolina-based investment firm JJE Capital Holdings for $65 million, plus the assumption of liabilities subject to better offers. And it goes on and talks about that. Uh, I'm guessing there's some ammo that was uh, tied up somewhere. What do you think? There, that would that would go with the rumors that I keep hearing. I keep hearing that the ammo is sitting in the shops. It is sitting on the loading docks. Mm. I do know there's some problems getting. I know this one. There's problems getting some of the raw materials in. Why? Mm. Because a lot of our raw materials comes from where? China. <laughs> China. 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 However, there is some there is some people that have said clearly that mm. the ammo is sitting on the loading docks. Mm. Can you imagine selling an ammo company right now? Like you're going to be selling at the peak of your stock not bad <laughs> yeah that that ammo is about to get so <laughs> just, you know it's gonna be I, I i'm thinking something terrible that my brain is like maybe it's, you should it's the say first it. good move that remington has made in a decade yeah and then uh max says jje capital is the group that owns psa boom dude psa i i heard <laughs> i heard some of their quarter quarterly numbers uh-huh. last quarter okay holy crap oh yeah um, PSA, so, you know, PSA, I think when they initially came out, did have a few issues, but they're very serious about quality and all that kind of stuff nowadays, and they're really organized. Uh, they're probably one of the most advanced uh, companies when it comes to figuring out, like, what things they're making or selling, and then making more of those and, and really getting all of this together. I know right away there's going to come a ton of complaints that every gun they put out there, you can't find it. This uh, I'm, I'm with that. I, the AK-74 came out. Um, we tried to get an AK-74. It didn't work out, but that's not a bad thing for PSA, right? No, it's not. And I gave an AKV away mm-hmm. about two weeks ago, and that was a hotly contested giveaway. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. I, I do not have any sponsorship with PSA. I've never made a dollar from PSA, ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do think one of their best moves, and I love that Tim is in the in the uh, comment section tonight, is when Tim shockingly beat the hell out of another gun. They came back. That video they made, Hank, was fantastic, and mm-hmm. they put the little Mac brace on there. Yep. And that was really, really good value. And mm-hmm. so, I don't know, like, I've tested a ton of their stuff. I have PSA boxes literally waist high in my gun room, mm-hmm. and I do all that for Pew Pew Tactical. I've... I've had good experiences. I look at them like a Honda Civic. They're going to run. They're nothing special, but they do run. Mm -hmm. That AKV was actually kind of cool. Yes, I have an AKV. I like them. Um, You know, we don't have a sponsorship, excuse me, with PSA, but we do affiliate stuff with PSA, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, might as well put up some stuff there. And uh, if people buy things, they can help to support us with PSA, but I, I, um, I really do give them kudos instead of, cause I've seen companies go after Mac and other people. I'm sure you've gone through it. I know I have. If you say something bad about them, I think they had the best response. Okay. That's an issue. We'll fix it. We'll call it the Mac fix. Um, and then I'll put up the Mac says, I started off not caring for PSA years ago and compared them to century arms. Today. I say they're one of the best American gun companies out there right now. Actually, that is, that's a big endorsement for Mac. And I, and one thing I, I know, as terrible as he is with his beard, you know, being real big and all that awesomeness he can't love magazines. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Mac will tell you if there's issues with stuff, right? Whether he knows those guys at the companies or not. And, and I think that they're really trying. And I think that they're a company that's on the edge um, in terms of what's going on when it comes to manufacturing. From, they, they, have, they have some manufacturing facilities here in Florida that I've visited. And I've seen their stuff in, um, in South Carolina. So these guys are really on the edge. It's just a matter of time before they're able to make what you guys want out there. It's just, it's always better to have the customers wanting more than you made too much stuff that you cannot sell. So that's how that works. Yeah, it's not um, a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. I yeah. feel like Alan Iverson right now, we talking mm -hmm. about PSA. <laughs> of all things to be talking about to stumble yeah. into is Palmetto yeah. State, but you yeah. know you can't get their stuff. They're sold out, yeah. and they run. They do run. I've tested mm -hmm. all of their stuff. It's incredible how many how many of those I've tested. Yeah. Yeah. They the, run. The AK the AKV is really cool. I have one. Walter has one. I see him out there in the chat. Um, it's a it's a really cool gun, and um, I think they're coming out. The ARV is coming out soon, by the way. The ARV it's coming out, and yeah. then eventually, yep, yeah, it's, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, they came out with the AK-74, uh, and they'll probably get more of those out there. AKV, uh, ARV, excuse me, ARV, I heard, is coming out. And uh, the Dagger is coming out also. Everything else got pushed to next year. So I don't know whether or not people are aware of that, but I, I reached out to them. Because what's happening to me is YouTube is going through all my videos, and videos that were previously okay, they're not okay. So we've literally removed something between three and 400 videos from YouTube. So it's not a good idea to just throw those back up there. So what I've been doing is if it's a really good video and people keep asking me, where is it? I do a little thing where I, you know, look at the video that we had to take down. I recap it. I get in touch, see if there's more info on that. And then I, you know, I record that, put it back up, right? Do some edits. And, uh, in, in the process of reaching out for a video we put back up recently, that's what we found out. Everything else coming out next year, but we will see the ARV pretty soon, as well as uh, the Dagger, which is their 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 uh, their Glock competitor. I think it's fair to say. Perfection. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.